Hello Collective, hello, hello. Welcome back to our channel. Good morning, good morning. Happy Taco Tuesday. All right, so we've got some Palo Santo going. I am going to tap into a divine message for our collective. So this will be for all energies, all elements, earth, air, fire, and water, divine masculine, divine, me uh, divine feminine. And um, all right, let's get into it. So um, this will be your divine today's to know. So what the divine wants you to know today. If you were guided to this message, definitely something in it for you. We've got change on the table first thing out, right? I like it. Um, when the ego finally sees the utter madness of trying to control everything, you come to a sacred crossroads in your own evolution. Right? What else does our collective need to know? Divine Spirit, what does our collective need to know? Today's to know. Humility. Okay. Allow me, divine, to always accept the right assistance. I welcome your help in every way and delight in receiving it. So I love this. I feel like literally there is a complete shift, an energy shift, oh, energy, energetic clearing. The universe is balancing the scales. I have been saying it since I started this channel. If you don't balance out your own life and make those boss moves to detach from toxicity and be able to heal your inner child hear heal any trauma anything that you have gone through previously and to be able to ascend and awaken to your divine purpose your divine path to really open up to the flow of the universe if you do not do that the cosmos will do it for you <laughs> and that is what's happening <laughs> literally there's a change in humanity okay there's an energetic clearing during crisis the holy one herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments preparing you to receive her luminous plan everybody is on their divine plan now whether or not you're awoke to it that's a different story right it's like get on the on the boat and get with the program because if you're not with the program, you're going to be behind and then you're going to wish you, you paid attention, right? It's like, wake up, wake up, wake up. I keep hearing an alarm, like a wake up, right? Alarm. So I feel like there's a lot of change. People need to wake up to their reality. People a lot of, need to wake up to what needs to be done to make their lives better, right? To be able to change, to be able to proceed in a forward positive motion, right? A movement that's going to be beneficial for their spiritual growth, their mental stability, and their heart space, right? So that we can open all of our chakras, be aligned, and be who we truly are, okay? This energetic clearing is so, so important, especially globally. It is contagious. That's one thing people don't realize. There's so much hate in the world, which is why the cosmos are bringing balance, okay? literally 3:33 on the clock <laughs> there is a divine order being taken place right now and you have to decide where you're wanting to go what direction you're wanting to do right where are you going to be at when it comes to moral morals and integrity where do you stand right that is what's happening i believe that a lot of people are making the right choices and I believe that a lot of people are becoming awoke. So if you are on that plan to change in your life for the better, kudos to you, right? Because that means that you have a higher understanding of where you stand and where you're going. And that's amazing. Okay, let's grab some Gateway of Like Activation. It's a newer deck that I recently got. I really, really enjoy the artwork on it. And um, anyway, okay, so we'll grab some for our collective. What else does our collective need to know? Sacred inner space, sacral chakra, chakra, <laughs> tenderness, and sensuality. So I definitely feel like you have this self-love, right? Um, 444 on the clock. Um, I guess what I'm saying is you're being divinely guided to do what's right, right? You're being divinely guided to stand up for yourself and possibly humanity you know maybe your calling 
was to help you know people around you you know no matter what you do whether you work retail or a cubicle or you know you're a police officer whatever you do you were destined to be on a path of greatness right you're destined to be on a path of growing your stability mentally emotionally physically you know I just feel like a lot of people are spiritually ascending and they're able to grasp the concepts of what is needed and the hard work that needs to be done to go to the next level, right? To reach that sacred inner space so that you can become even more enlightened. And it's a journey. This is a journey that will never stop. So always be, you know, open to the divine. Crown chakra upgrade. You are ascending collective. This is amazing. Change is for the good, right? Change is inevitable. It's the only constant and it's the only thing we should be prepared and get used to. So I feel like this is amazing. I feel like you really should understand that you are leveling up and you are moving to potentials and opportunities that possibly would have been out of your reach 10 years ago you're reaching that because you did the hard work collective. I feel like who I'm talking to has really focused on personal growth and really making sure that, you know, what they intake, right, in their life, what they feed their soul is good for them, right? So that, that way you're ascending, you're learning those karmic lessons and the contracts, the life lessons and our love lessons, right, of this, of this journey that we were that we agreed to before we came here, right? So I really enjoyed this. I really, really like oh, Hathor light codes, light immersion, full system upgrade, power recall. You're you're taking back your power. I feel like you have this this inner knowing, right? This inner knowing, this deep, this deep. I don't know. It's like this deep understanding for what you're truly here to do. And that's amazing. And if you're still kind of up in the air and like what you, you know, what, what your purpose is, um, you know, try different forms of healing like Reiki or, um, you know, you could even do past life regression. You know, a lot of that can really help, you know, your progress when it comes to finding out who you truly are and your purpose and what you're, you know, meant to do. So, all right, collective. God, I really enjoyed this. You know, I'm kind of, I kind of want to grab one more. I think this is kind of a special, a special divine, you know, daily. Um, today's to know is, it's pretty intense, right? I feel like, like a huge, like I said, a huge shift in, in the planetary, you know, system, just in general. Everybody's aura is shifting. Now, whether how you're shifting your aura and who you are and whether or not you're allowing yourself to, you know, be your authentic, you know, true self, your pure heart, whether you're doing that or not, it's up to you, right? It's all a personal choice. But I feel like a lot of people are getting on board as to what's good for them, what they need to do, you know, the hard work that they do to get them, you know, that time to be able to rest and rejuvenate, right? Okay, all right, let's get a Spirit of the Animal Oracle for our collective. On this Today's To Know, what does our collective need to know? What does our collective need to know? Let's split the deck. <laughs> oh, intuitive. Listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Immerse, um, from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. I love this, I love this. There's something special about you, Collective. There's a reason why you made it to this message. There's a reason why you're awakening to your purpose and your, you know, your path. Everybody learns their spiritual path at different, different vibrations, right? So I feel like if you're focusing on yourself and your own path, that's the best way and the fastest way to be able to ascend is if you're focus on, focusing on yourself and change because then once you focus on, on self-love, you're able to have that inner peace so that you can help the people around you. It's contagious, okay? Toxicity is contagious, but so is love if we let it. All right, collective, I think that's a wrap. 
I hope you enjoyed this Today's to Know. And if this resonated in any way, and if this was written in your stars, hit the like and the subscribe down below. Help our channel grow. And until the next episode, I'll see you later. Bye.